Hey everybody, Mike Chipperini at Chippers Island Adventures and I'm in front of my Integra Odyssey 24B and today I'm going to show you a really neat modification I did to the access panels. Now these access panels is like three of them on my Odyssey 24B but one of them is the one that you have to remove in order to access your water heater. So hey everybody, what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and show you exactly what I did and then I'm going to take you step by step through another one that I'm going to do right now. So let's go check it out. So as you can see, here's one vent panel and here's another one underneath the fridge. And I have a third one over here, which is where all the electronics are, such as the side control and the converter and all that good stuff. At any rate, I'm gonna show you what I did here. As you can see, this panel is on, but there's no screws. So I can now just take this off nice and easy because what I did is I installed these magnets at each corner. So watch this. I'm going to put this back on. I'll line it up very carefully. And it's on. So let's talk about what we're going to need. One is these magnets right here. Oh. <laughs> so as you can see, those are pretty powerful magnets. These are from Rockler, and they're 3 8 by 1 10 of an inch. And you get a whole packet of about 10 of them. You're also going to need some of these screws, which are, I believe, number 6 by about 3 quarters of an inch or 5 8 of an inch. And then this, and this is what the magnets mount into. And these are again from Rockler, and they are, I don't know if we can see that, it looks like 3 eighths by 1 quarter. And I'll put all this information, you see it on the bottom of your screen right now for some of it, but I'll make sure I put links in the description below. So, in order to do this, you're also going to need a screwdriver. So let's get started. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and remove the vent. And then we're going to make the necessary preparations in order to put the new magnet mounts on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this screw off. Now, one of the things is these screws are very small. And if you come down here, once you get through the grate, there's not a lot of space. There's only about a quarter of an inch. And with this particle board of whatever this wood is made of, it's not a really good grab. So that's why these screws from going in and out get compromised, the holes do with these screws. But now we're gonna go deeper. So now I have the grate off. And what we're gonna do, the way we're gonna mount these, the old screws will fit the new mount. The problem is they don't fit inside and they don't flush mount very well. So I got new screws right here, and these don't go in very well either. So we're gonna go downstairs to the shop and do a little bit of a procedure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a five and 30 seconds drill bit and drill through the magnet holder. But first what I have to do is put it in a little pair of vice grips like that so now it's locked in. So now I'll go ahead and drill a hole Release the vice grips, and now as you can see, if I take the screw and put it right inside, it fits perfectly, and you can see it's very flush. So when the magnet sits in there, it'll be sitting fairly flat. And now I'm going to do that to three more of these, one in each corner of the grate, and then we'll go upstairs and mount these magnet holders. So what I have here is I have the screw the magnet holder, but I'm going to apply a washer as well because that grate is a little bit deep and the washer will help bring it further out in order to make it align. 
And I'm also going to move this screw. This is the old screw hole. I'm going to move it over to here. And then it will be on the edge of the grate. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And these self-drill. So you just apply a little bit of pressure. Go right in. And that's seated pretty good right there. And now I can take a magnet and slide it right in. Click. I did the first one and then I did the remaining three. So now I have all the magnets mounted. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and mount the grate. And the reason why I moved these over a little bit is so that it wouldn't slide. The furthest it could slide to the right is here. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this. And there you have it. It's pretty good. It's not going anywhere. It's locked on really well. And now I've done two grates. I don't think those are going to slide to and fro very much if they do it all. If they do, what I'll do is I'll put a couple little adhesive bumpers inside. You won't even see them. They'll be inside the grate, so that way there the grate will bump up against the bumpers. So that's about it. It's really not that difficult. The hardest part is just re-drilling the holes in the magnet holders themselves. So I'll put all the links to the items that you'll need for this in the description below the video. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. All the best to all. And happy RBM.